Hello and welcome to On The Bench LFC. In this one, Fakir's dad tries to throw a bit of a spanner in the works. Then I've got a little snippet that will be coming out in the press tomorrow from Fakir himself speaking on the move. Liverpool are also linked with another youngster. And the Liverpool Players Award Show. Who cleaned up? Stick around for the rest of the videos. Find out. As always, thank you for joining me everyone. Firstly, before we get started with all of today's news, if you are a Liverpool supporter and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, but you enjoy keeping up to date with all transfer, rumours, gossip and done deals, make sure to hit the subscribe button now and tick the little bell notification next to it so you don't miss out on any breaking news in the near future. Also, if you're enjoying the updates, remember to hit the thumbs up button for me. Thank you very much. So... Obviously, we've got some stories coming out today. More about Fakir. There is twists or there is turns. But firstly, who is this youngster that Liverpool are linked with? So, this youngster that we are linked with is Porto centre-back Diogo. Diogo Latte. Late, however you want to say his name. Um, possible summer move. What we've got on this at the moment is he's 19 years old he played for Porto's B team yes at this stage I'm pretty sure most of you are the same as me who is this geezer what is going down with him he made 27 appearances for Porto's B team in their second tier so he sounds sounds like it's going to be getting everyone like oh and surely we should be back in Klopp with whoever he wants. But anyway, it continues to say that he has a release clause of 13.1 million in his contract. But however, Liverpool are looking to sign him in the summer. But Steinberg adds that they plan to send their defender out on loan next season to ensure that he plays regular first team football. So they are looking to send him on loan, not to sell him. Something that I need to add to this is that I've been saying that we could do with signing a centre-back, but I'm not really looking for a centre-back in the form of a young Porto B team centre-back. I'm looking for more of a ready-for-the-first-team centre-back to come in. So let me know in the comment section down below whether you heard of this player before, whether you've seen him play. If you have, then well done. <laughs> well done to you, because I haven't. Um, also... Let me know if there is a centre-back out there that you think Liverpool should be signing in the summer because a concern of mine at the moment is that we are being linked with a hell of a lot of attackive players, as always, but not too much defensive players. So it is good to see Liverpool being linked with a defender, but it's not a defender that is definitely going to grab a lot of headlines moving forwards. But it is some good news today, which is a plus because it hasn't all been good news has it today in today's in today's transfer news to put it lightly so moving on and before we get started on the Fakir twist the Liverpool players award ceremony was tonight Mohamed Salah obviously did what Mohamed Salah does best wins awards uh, Mohamed Salah collected a double tonight he got first team players player of the season and the first team player of the season. Outstanding, outstanding. He goes on to say, I'm very happy to win these awards. I had a good season, but without the help of my teammates, it would have been very difficult. Exactly. I'm pretty sure that Mo Salah could have still done amazing if he was out on the pitch on his own in some of them games because he was that good. But it is about the rest of the team as well. Mo Salah got a lot of plaudits this year, but if it wasn't for the rest of the team, Mo Salah wouldn't have been as good, would he? Let's be honest. He then continues to say, we still have two games to go and we want to win them to make it a very good season. We have two finals to play. That is one against Brighton and one against Real Madrid. I like the way he put that, two finals. That's what we are focused on. I want to finish the season in a good way. We all want to finish the season in a good way. Obviously, there's been links today saying that Real Madrid are going to put in 200 million for Mo Salah. Mo Salah's been urged to leave to go to Real Madrid. Why have I not done a video on that, guys? Because it's bollocks. Mo Salah is not leaving Liverpool in the summer. If he does, I will be shocked. I cannot see Mo Salah leaving to go anywhere. If Real Madrid are willing to stump up a lot of money, 
if they think that 200 million is going to sign Mo Salah when considering apparently Asensio has like six, 700 million buyout clause or something stupid, someone told me. I don't know how true that is, but Mo Salah is worth a hell of a lot more than that, surely. Surely, surely. So to me, 200 million, you can have a signed shirt or something along them lines, all right? <laughs> you ain't getting a man, the myth, the legend himself. Who else did well? Obviously, Alex Oxlade Chamberlain got goal of the season for his goal against Man City. What a belter that was. Absolutely outstanding. Um, young player of the season award goes to Trent. He's been outstanding, especially in the Champions League towards this, the latter part of this season. Trent has been amazing, hasn't he, guys? I think a lot of us agree with that. Also, the Academy Player of the Season goes to Harry Wilson. So that's really good to see Harry Wilson getting a rec recognition that he deserves as well. A lot of people have been talking about Harry Wilson taking the next step next season. Ladies Player of the Season goes to Sophie Ingle. Is it Ingle? I think it's Ingle. I, I should follow a ladies players more, but I don't, but I will be in the future. Um, but she got ladies player of the season, so well done to you, Sophie. And Liverpool ladies FC player of the season goes to Gemma Bonner as well. So well done to you as well, Gemma. And the Forever Reds Lifetime Achievement Award goes to Ian Callahan. Um, a massive achievement, that a massive award. So that is brilliant. An outstanding team achievement award goes to the 1978 European Cup team. So top, top draw there. Um, that is a list that I've just read off there, guys. Let me know your views on all that down below. If obviously the goal of the season, for instance, you thought that there was a different goal that you preferred, leave it in the comment section down below and let me know. Right, moving on to Fakir, because a lot of you guys are enjoying the daily updates surrounding Fakir. Maybe not so much today, but I will break down what I think of today because I think it's a smoke screen. Of course I do. Of course I do. We've got to stay confident. We've got to stay positive. So firstly, Fakir's dad throwing a spanner in the work. What did we see about that first? Well, Fakir's dad popped his head out into the media and said, Nabil in Liverpool is wrong. Firstly, let me break that bit down. No one said that Fakir was in Liverpool, okay? Nobody. I saw a part where apparently he said Fakir hasn't been to Liverpool, okay? No one said that he met Jurgen Klopp in Liverpool, just saying. Right, moving on. I hear there are arrangements and stuff like that. I was amazed. I can deny this information right away. Spot on. Cheers for denying that. That is not true. I can guarantee it. Sweet as a nut. He never met him. Klopp, that is in brackets. There is nothing for now. Right, now this is just part of it. He also went on to say as well, guys, that he's very close to his son. I do not deny that in any way, shape or form. And that his son would have informed him of this. Now, I'm not trying to say that Fakir would not have informed of his, his dad of any move or anything like that. No way in shape or form am I honestly saying that at all. But is... His dad being questioned on this matter, a reliable source? No, I think family being brought into this stuff, I don't genuinely go off. Yes, I do go by quotations and speech marks from players, from you know, ma managers, from clubs themselves, but you have to look at wording with those people. When it's like a dad or it's a family member or it's a friend of the family, things like that, it is when the media sources are literally trying to find every bit of information that they can to make clicks, basically, on social media. Okay, so for me, personally, yes, he is throwing a spanner in the works because if what he's saying is true, then it wouldn't be good for Liverpool. But he's saying that he would have been told by his son if he had met Klopp and also if he had been to Liverpool. The wording of what he used was very clever because he's saying, no, he's basically denying that his son had been to Liverpool and met Klopp. No one said that he's been to Liverpool to meet Klopp, you know. No one said that a deal, like people are saying that a deal's been confirmed and stuff, but no one said that the transfer is complete or whatever. He's saying, I would have been informed if it's been completed. Okay, so if I'm breaking it down and I'm trying to look at the wording that is used again, he's been clever with the way he's worded it, in my opinion. You can have your own opinions on it, but for my opinion, 
I think I'm not going to I'm going to take it with a pinch of salt what they're using as his dad but we do have something that will be coming out tomorrow like I promised at the beginning of what should be released in tomorrow's reports and I believe it would be on the, the Lit Equip um, and it's more for Keir quotations so let's get to that because this will be down again to what you want to make of it but obviously what I do best is break down transfer rumours gossip what I make of it quotations things like that on my channels so so these are going to be some Nabil Fakir quotes from his interview that will be coming out in the lit quip tomorrow so there will be more that is released tomorrow so if there is much more than what I've done here I will do another video on it but this is apparently what we will see guys this is from Fakir himself. As I said, I am at Leon. There are two games remaining and then we will see. I can guarantee it to you. For now, there is nothing. The president trusts me and I feel good at Leon. I will stop here before I move on and I'll break that bit down. He says, as I said, I am at Leon. Right? So he's been asked about it again. He says, as I said, I'm at Leon. Right, he says there are two games remaining. So he's saying, I'm at Leon at the moment. There's still two games remaining. So he's basically saying, don't ask me about it at the moment because there's still two games of this season that he's still playing for Leon. So he can't answer and say whether he play, whether he's moving in the summer or not. He is basically telling the world and telling the press, I'm still at Leon. I'm under contract here. You know, I can't talk about anything until the two games are up. Then he goes on to say, I can guarantee it to you, for now, there is nothing. For now, there is nothing. So again, I told you, look at the wording. For now, there is nothing. So going back to what his dad said, he's not moving and all this malarkey. Yeah, he says, I can guarantee it for you. Guarantee it for you, for now, there is nothing. Why would he say, I can guarantee it for you, for now, there is nothing. Right, so... Like I said, with everything leading up to this, Fakir is yet to agree personal terms with Liverpool, is what I believe. So for now, there's nothing for him to say. He also said there's still two games and he is at Leon. So for now, there's nothing for him to say. Moving on. Hopefully you're with me still. As every player, when he signs a contract, the president told me we could discuss when the time has come for me to leave. But I have no green light from Ullis to leave in the summer. Right, so I break this bit down. As every player, when he signs a contract, the president told me we could discuss when the time has come for me to leave. But I have no green light from Ullis to leave in the summer. So he's basically saying he hasn't had a green light from the club that he can leave in the summer. So that would be a negative to say that he hasn't had the green light as of yet to say you're allowed to leave in the summer. Doesn't say anywhere there that he doesn't want to leave in the summer. Okay, so if I'm to break that next step down, he says, as every player, when he signs a contract, the president told him that when the time comes to discuss that he wants to leave, so he's bringing up about leaving and that he can discuss with the president once he signed that contract when it gets to the time that it is for him to leave he has to speak to the president to get that green light at the moment he has no green light from the president is what he's saying in that next bit but he's still bringing up about leaving in the summer so again if you're breaking it down you're looking at his wording he's brought up about at the moment there is nothing for now and he's still talking about leaving in the summer we shall continue stick with me in football, you you never know what can happen. So his dad saying he's not going anywhere. Leon saying he's not going anywhere. Why is the player himself saying, in football, you never know what can happen? Stick with me. It escalates quickly. Bloody quickly, mate. Bloody quickly. It can be an interest from a club. The president who doesn't want to keep me or a new trainer. You never know. So very clever there. What was the first thing he brought up in that statement, guys? In football, you never know what can happen. So again, he's saying, you know, no matter what is being said, in football, you, you never know what can happen. He's also said about, it is nice to be able to play for Leon in the Champions League and the club of his dreams and all that. He, he, he has said about that and he would love to play for him, you know. But 
He's still talking about in football, you never know what can happen. It can escalate quickly. So he's saying, for now, there's nothing. But it can escalate quickly. So he's saying, this could go really quick from now. There's nothing to all of a sudden go quick. It can be an interest from a club is the first option that he used to talk about. Or a president who doesn't want to keep him or a new trainer. You never know. But the first thing he said was an interest from a club. So... Again, I've broke down what is coming out tomorrow for you guys. There will be more, apparently, that is coming out. So we'll have to wait and see what else comes on. It says here as well, there's another part that says, does a qualification for Champions League influence your my future? Of course, Leon is my club, the one I will support forever. It's delicate for a, for a person from Leon like me to think and imagine about the day I leave my cocoon. So... You know, he's saying, does a qualification for Champions League influence his future? Of course it does, you know, but it it does influence it because he's saying, yes, them playing in Champions League is a big deal for him. It's He's saying it's his cocoon, it's his club, but he's saying, you know, it's a club that he will support forever, but he's already talking like he's left. He's already talking like he knows he's leaving. It's a club that I will support forever. This is someone that is leaving. Mark my words. Nabil Fakir is a Liverpool player in the summer. All right? That's your update. So for everyone that is now being negative over today's Fakir news, his dad throwing a spanner in the works. Like I say, I'm not denying that his dad, you know, isn't close to his son or anything like that. All I'm saying is... What I do best is break down transfer rumours. What I do best is look at quotes. What I do best is take everything from everywhere and I lay it down on the table and I'll tell you what I make of it. I mean, it's up to you to make your opinion up. So let me know in the comment section down below. Do you think I'm sniffing around the right mark with that one, guys? Or do you think I'm well off the mark? Do you think he's it's done? Do you think he's staying at Leon? Do you think I'm wrong? Feel free to leave your comments if you honestly think that, you know, with all this latest stuff that he's now standing at Leon, I, I don't mind. Let me know what you think on it. But for me personally, Fakir is going to be a Liverpool player still in the summer. Doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me all this latest stuff. I am oh confident. Trust me. So that's been it for today's show. Of course, of course, there will be more probably tomorrow. Like I say, stick around for those quotes coming out tomorrow. I did break it before most. So, if you are a Liverpool supporter and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, but you like to keep up to date with all transfer news, breakdowns, gossip, done deals, make sure to hit the subscribe button now. Tick your bell notification next to it so you don't miss out on any breaking news in the near future. Also, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video if you're enjoying the updates and the breakdowns. I've been on the bench, LFC. You've all been legends. I'll see you in the next one.